Hello and welcome to ASML's Q3 2025 results video with Christophe Fouquet and Roger Dassa. Roger, if I can start with you and can I ask you to give us a summary of Q3 2025 results? Sure. Net sales came in at uh, 7.5 billion euros. Uh, that included, by the way, the recognition of one uh, high NA uh, system. Uh, also included in there uh, 2 billion for install base uh, revenue. Uh, gross margin for the quarter came in at 51.6%. Um, all of that, I would say, within, within guidance. Um, uh, net income for the quarter came in at uh, 2.1 billion. And we recorded net bookings uh, for the quarter of 5.4 billion, included in there 3.6 billion for EV. And Roger, can I ask you to give us a guidance on uh, Q4 2025, as well as the full year for 2025? Sure, so for the quarter, uh, we're looking at uh, revenue uh, between 9.2 and 9.8 billion uh, euros. It's a big quarter, uh, a, lot, a lot bigger than, uh, than last uh, quarter, but actually that's as planned and also as, as we communicated before. And it's also you know, what we saw uh, in, uh, in 2024. We also had a very big uh, Q4 uh, there. Um, included in that number would be an install base revenue of approximately 2.1 uh, billion. The gross margin for the quarter somewhere between 51 and 53 uh, percent. If you then take that to the full year, we would be looking at a full year around uh, 32 and a half billion uh, euros uh, in terms of uh, in terms of net sales. The gross margin, we say around 52 percent. As a matter of fact, if you take the midpoint of the guidance for the quarter, you get a little bit above the 52 percent for, for the full year. Christoph, if I could ask you then to give us your view on how you're seeing the, the market at the moment. Yeah, I think we have seen a, a flow of uh, positive news in the last uh, few months. Uh, that have helped to reduce uh, the uncertainty, some of the uncertainties we discussed last quarter. First, we continue to see strong news about commitment to AI, which means we think investment in advanced logic and DRAM. Second, and that's very important for us, it looks like AI is going to benefit a larger part of our customer base. Third, we continue to make very good progress with our uh, litho intensity, especially with EUV that continue to be adopted with DRAM and Advanced Logic customer. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, when we look at uh, China, we believe that uh, the demand of our Chinese customer is going to be significantly lower in uh, 2026 than it has been in 2024 and 25, where we had very strong business there. So uh, what does that mean then for ASML in 2026? Well, we believe that the impact of uh, these dynamics will only be effective partially in 2026. But still, for 2026, we expect our net sales to not be below 2025. If we look at our product mix, the dynamics are going to favor UV, which we believe will increase, while the dynamic in China will most probably lower the business in deep UV. And we will provide more details about 2026 in our January call. Turning to technology, uh, Roger, can I ask you to give us uh, you know, your thoughts on the recent announcement that we had in terms of the collaboration with uh, ASML and Mistral AI? Yeah, indeed, we, we enter into a partnership with, uh, with Mistral AI. I think, I think Mistral is really recognized uh, on a number of fronts. I think they're recognized for their business-to-business -business, uh, approach. They're also recognized for the quality of their large language model, particularly when it comes to software coding and software coding uh, development. So they're recognized for that. That's the reason why you know, we entered into the partnership uh, with them, because you know, many people look at ASML, look at our products, and really looking at hardware, uh, but I think increasingly, I think uh, people appreciate the very significant software content that is within those systems. And, you know, I think people, w people really understand that if you get to the level of precision and the level of speed that we have in our scanners, but also, quite frankly, what we need in metrology and inspection, it's pretty clear that the software contingent therein becomes increasingly uh, important. So that's the reason why this is very strategic uh, to us, why it's very strategic to, you know, improving the performance, improving the precision and the speed of our, uh, of our tools as we bring them to uh, our customers. So therefore, this collaboration is, is truly, uh, is truly really a strategic choice for uh, for us. I would also say that 
on top of uh, the significance that it has for our products, uh, it's also, uh, you know, AI is also a great way to, uh, to improve the speed of our product development, to improve the speed of our time to market uh, of, uh, you know, of, of any product uh, development to our customers. And that's another big area that, uh, that we're collaborating with, with Mistral uh, on. So all in all, we believe a very strategic partnership. We also, to underscore that strategic partnership, as you know, we were the lead investor for their uh, series, uh, series C uh, uh, funding, uh, funding round. And by being the lead investor, we, uh, we took approximately an 11% uh, share in, uh, in Mistral. We also have a, uh, have a seat on, uh, on, their, uh, on their strategic uh, committee. We truly believe that by doing this, uh, you know, we, we also get closer and closer to, to the AI world, which we believe is so pivotal to what we do at ASML. Uh, staying on technology, uh, Christoph, can you share then maybe some of the highlights over the last quarter in terms of our, our roadmap? Yeah, I think we continue to see a very strong uh, execution of our technology roadmap. Uh, I'll start with the uh, EUV. Uh, we had some very good papers presented at SPIE Semicon conferences, stressing the progress we are making, driving down the cost of technology for the most advanced nodes of our customer. On uh, INA, uh, we shared the fact that at our customer, more than 300,000 wafer were now run. And some of our customers also reported the fact that the maturity of INA today is quite ahead of what the maturity of LoNA was at a certain period of time. So this was very positive. I think uh, one important news also came from uh, SK Enix, who uh, announced the start of the installation of their first 5200 in their production fab positioning this tool basically as one of the key enablers for the future of DIRA. On top of that, I think uh, we're also very happy to report that we have shipped our first advanced packaging product. We have said in the past that we'll be supporting our customer with 3D integration. We have shipped the XT260, which is a high productivity scanner that will support uh, advanced packaging and provide up to 4x productivity compared to the existing product. So yeah, you're mentioning then, you know, 3D integration. Uh, what's some of the rationale uh, and maybe some of the opportunities you see for ASML in this space? Well, I think 3D integration, of course, is the other way to drive Moore's law. And, you know, when it comes to 3D, we have our lithography roadmap. When it comes to 3D integration, I think we mentioned in Capital Market Day that we will start helping our customer in this field. Our customers have told us that there is a need for innovation in 3D integration because their requirement will become more and more stringent. When we look at those requirements, we also see that a lot of the technology we have developed for holistic lithography can be transferred to 3D integration. And this is why we are looking at several opportunities. The XT260 is the first product, there will be more. And because of innovation, we are capable again to bring technology that can really make a difference. If we look at next year, we see many customers that have shown interest in this tool, proving again, I would say, the future value of our technology there. Then, uh, as a final question, can I ask you to remind us of maybe the long-term opportunities for, for ASML and a little bit the, the market you see there? Well, first, as we mentioned in the Capital Market Day, we said that most probably AI will drive more advanced application in semiconductor, so advanced DRAM, advanced logic. I think this is happening, and this is driving more advanced litho, higher litho intensity, and we expect that to continue. As we just discussed, we see that 3D integration will become a new opportunity, which we are going to pursue. And as Roger explained very nicely, we also see that AI could create a lot of value on our product moving forward. So we continue to see a very strong opportunity on our technology roadmap. Finally, to close on the number, as mentioned in the Capital Market Day, we expect 2030 to see an opportunity for revenue between 44 billion euro and 60 billion euro, and a gross margin between 56% and 60%. Great, thank you very much. Thank you both, Christophe and Roger. Thank you. Good.